Hey friends, welcome back. This lesson is titled, Everything Exists at Once. If you get this principle, if you can experientially tune into the reality of the fact, the existential fact that everything imaginable and more than you can imagine, everything that can ever exist already exists all at once simultaneously contained within a single timeless moment, which we access from our linear time point of view as the now. The now is not, as we've discussed before in Enlightenment One, it's not actually a thin slice of time in between the past and the future. It is all comprehensive. It is all inclusive. It is time inclusive as well as time transcendent. So the now is actually the only moment in existence. There is no other moment in existence than the now. This implies that everything that can exist, and as we've discussed before, therefore does exist, has to exist when? Right now. All at once. So let this be your mantra for this lesson and for the next few days. Everything exists at once. Everything exists at once. Everything exists simultaneously at once. There is only one moment and everything exists right now. Everything exists right here and now. I'll explain a little bit as to how this is possible and how you can imagine that this is uh, working from a universal point of view. So take the all that is awareness, the all that is consciousness. So take the, the absolute level of awareness. So this is not the to be mistaken with the absolute, the one infinity, it is awareness, we're talking about awareness, but the absolute level of awareness, meaning awareness at its most original state, where it is actually aware of all realities simultaneously, of all possibilities made manifest simultaneously, of all possibilities experienced simultaneously. So this all that is awareness or all that is consciousness is therefore literally aware of all that is of everything that exists. How can this be? Because obviously, clearly, we only perceive this moment right now. All you experience is me speaking to you through this video or through the audio. However, there are infinite, endless, simultaneous configurations of energy, configurations of love light, configurations, frequencies of presence energy that are possible but not only possible, they exist, they are also manifest simultaneously on alternate parallel simultaneous slices or pictures or snapshots of existence. So quite literally, you have to think here in terms of parallel realities. And I'll include another video in this lesson where uh, it's a session of me where I explain in depth the structure of parallel reality. So you can dive a little deeper into that concept. For the purpose of this video, I'll keep the idea of parallel realities quite brief and focus on the aspect that everything exists all at once. But basically what this implies is the existence of parallel realities. That's the only way that everything can exist all at once. It can only exist all at once if there is infinite parallel realities. And that from the level of all that is consciousness, from the level of the awareness, the absolute level of awareness, which is then aware of everything that exists all at once, from that awareness's point of view, it, in a sense, if you can imagine this, perceives every possible reality at the same time. It is aware of it all simultaneously at once. This means that what you call future all that is awareness is already aware of any potential, what to you is still future, but to it is simply another simultaneous reality. It is actually aware of that right now. So imagine this as um, snapshots or slices that all coexist simultaneously on different frequency levels within the same timeless here and now moment. 
start to recognize that the now, the here, and the now is actually a continuous experience of now within which there is no actual, there's continuity, but there is no actual continuity in the linear sense. The time does not actually apply to the now space itself. It only applies to the content that is being projected inside of this now space, inside of the now space of consciousness. The now is, simul is um, synonymous with consciousness itself. Consciousness is the now. Consciousness is the mother of all time, of all experience, of all reality. And it is this consciousness that experiences one slice, one slice, one slice of reality at a time. So it chooses to generate the experience of time by projecting its consciousness through your particular I am consciousness, through your particular individuation, your particular soul of consciousness onto one particular configuration of energy, one potential configuration of energy, one possibility of energy, etc., etc., etc. And so every moment still contained within the timeless now, within which time does not really exist, it is only projected as such. But structurally, again, time does not exist in the all that is now, because all that is, is all that is already. And if all that is, is already all that is, there is no movement on the absolute level of awareness. There is no change. There is simply simultaneous awareness of any potential change that could ever happen or has already happened. And from its own point of view, everything has already happened. But again, your soul consciousness, your I am consciousness chooses to, in a sense, project its projector light through one image at a time so that onto the movie screen of the now, the screen being the now, you see one possible configuration of reality, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Now, we as human beings tend to make the mistake to then believe and think that just because I'm aware of this moment now, it means that this configuration of energy that I'm perceiving, this particular reality signifies or defines the now. And anything that I don't experience right now signifies past or future. From the consciousness point of view, from the timeless point of view, this is not true. Just because one particular individuation of the all that is consciousness, in this case, you, your I am consciousness, just because that I am consciousness chooses to project itself, its, its own light, its manifest light, its frequency, its state of being into one particular imagery, one particular possible configuration of reality, that does not mean to the level of all that is, that this experience that is experienced now actually defines the now. From the point of view of consciousness, the now is simply the space that holds all realities, but you can then choose from out of all these realities, you can then choose one slice at a time. This is how we generate a linear time space creation experience. This is how we generate the human experience. This is how we create literally our timeline that is unique to our subjective I am consciousness. But we choose, we pick and choose our consciousness through frequency, through vibration, through the, its vibratory state. I'll get into that in later lessons, law of attraction. But through its vibratory state, it picks and chooses what image, what configuration of reality it is now going to experience. And so it chooses out of everything that already exists, out of all the possibilities, out of all the potential configurations of reality, it simply chooses one frame at a time. Therefore, to its own subjective point of view, it seems like there is a timeline. There's a beginning and an end and a middle. But you have to realize that from the point of view of the realities that you're choosing, nothing ever changes. A single reality, meaning a single snapshot, a single configuration of the universe exists as its own timeless, ever present, now already existent creation. It never changes. In that sense, each reality is actually completely 100% motionless and static, like a picture. That is one configuration of reality, one configuration of the universe. Now, if that configuration of, of the universe slightly changes, it is not that the reality itself changes, it's that you're actually aware of an alternate parallel reality that looks similar but slightly different. A few things have changed, but they have not changed from one image 
from that one image. They haven't changed in that one image. Nothing changes inside of one image. You can only shift images. You cannot take one image and inside of that image change things around. Just like when you look at a physical picture, you cannot just move the person from location A to location B. You would actually have to take another picture of the person being in a different space. Now then you can take picture A, hold it in front of your eyes, then picture B, then picture C, then picture D, then picture E, then picture F, then picture G, etc. Where you have physically or ex existentially chosen a different alternate parallel configuration of that setting, of that scenario, of those people in that picture and taken a snapshot of them. So every reality is like this. It's like a picture, it's like a slice, it's like a snapshot. It's its own complete 100% static reality configuration. Motion, movement, change, evolution all happens because consciousness, the I am consciousness that you are, chooses through vibration, through relevance, through experience to change its state of being and therefore project different images or activate different potential configurations of reality onto its own screen of I am conscious and I am experiencing something right now. So just let that sink in for a moment. And you can obviously rewatch this video as many times as you need to and watch the other video or two that I'll include in this lesson for the purpose of further clarification. For now, all you need to understand is that your experience of motion, movement, change, time, in other words, is actually occurring because you generate a subjective illusory experience by shifting your consciousness from one image to another image to another image to another reality to another reality. So simply see each reality as a static, complete, 100% present reality, but then see that you're constantly choosing to shift into alternate realities, therefore creating the idea of movement and motion and time and space and evolution. But it's not actually moving. Things themselves are not actually moving. You're moving your consciousness through different realities where things are already different. Very much so like those picture examples I showed you, or as we see in motion pictures or movies. If you take a film strip, you have one picture at a time, one picture at a time, one picture at a time. If you played it all out 24 frames per second or higher these days, you will start to see experience, movement and time and a story. The film strip already existed before you entered the movie theater. If it did not, if time was an actual experience, then the people after you could not watch the same movie. But they have the same experience of this happened first, then this happens, then this happens, then this happens, because they go and watch the same movie that already existed before you watched it, before they watched it, and after you guys watched it. Similarly, whatever you're aware of now already existed. I know this might be hard to understand or grasp or even believe, but let it sink in and start to sense the logic behind it. This is actually how creation is structured and how it works and how movement works and how motion works and how time works. It is created by consciousness shifting into parallel reality, parallel reality, parallel reality, therefore altering the configuration of its reality so that it can generate the illusory but relevant experience of a timeline, of a theme, of evolution. It can learn about itself. It can then reflect upon itself. So now that we've got this concept squared away, at least for now, just let's focus one more time on the idea that therefore, given that everything is a parallel reality, everything exists here and now all at once. Everything happens all at once, simultaneously. Time does not exist. Time is a subjective, illusory experience generated by consciousness moving through imagery. The imagery already exists billions of years, billions of billions of trillions of years before you were ever aware of this moment. This configuration of energy was already existent in the overall database, so to speak, of the timeless now, holding all the potential configurations of energy that can ever possibly exist. In this way, nothing new is ever truly created. The only thing that's ever new is your relationship to these images. That has never happened before. But the images you perceive, the experience you have, already exists and will always exist because one reality cannot move, cannot change, cannot die, cannot be created. It already exists because there is no time. 
you see, from the infinite point of view, it wanted to express itself in as many potential ways as it could. And so all, all at once, from timelessness, it generated everything that could ever potentially exist. And now you are performing the job of building new relationship to this imagery and choosing a different order, a different way through which to go about exploring image, image, image after image after image, one image at a time, out of the totality that always already exists simultaneously at once right here, right now. Imagine it as, you know, those uh, picture connected dots, kind of picture books that you would uh, draw a line between dots as a kid. They were all numbered. Go from dot one to dot two to dot three to dot four. And you had no idea what it was going to look like until you completed the picture. And then suddenly it looked like something you could recognize. In a sense, consciousness is playing the same game. There's infinite dots available, infinite dots, but it chooses or infinite pictures in this sense, infinite realities. But it chooses one slice, one slide of reality at a time so that it goes from dot to dot to dot or from reality to reality to reality, choosing its own pathway, therefore creating its own unique timeline and its own unique experience of itself and of the one. And at the end of a life, so to speak, it has a complete picture of the theme that it has chosen to explore by going from this image to that image, then back to this image, then to that image, then to that image. Now, from your point of view, choosing one image at a time seems like it's a linear process. Seems like there's no way around it. It doesn't seem like you had a choice. It seems like you were simply dragged from one point to one point to one point as time took you by the hand and just moved you through this tunnel of experiences. From a broader, more all that is consciousness point of view, from your higher self's point of view, what you're actually doing is you are simply motionless consciousness choosing to Change your vibration so that a certain slide becomes active to you, to your subjective experience. And from its own point of view, you're choosing from all over the place. You're choosing all kinds of different realities, turning them into what seems from your point of view to be a linear timeline experience. But from higher consciousness point of view, it is simply all simultaneously existent and you're picking your own timeline. You're connecting the dots of your choice. Now that you realize that, you can also start to realize that you have free will, which is what the next lesson will be about. Everything happens by choice. Everything happens by free will. You can actually choose your next reality and you can learn to become more and more conscious of the fact that you always already have and had and will have free will, free choice, free agency. Why? Because that's what you are. You are awareness. You are consciousness. Awareness is the ultimate free agent. It's infinity's free agency. So again, let this sink in and realize that since everything is a parallel reality, that from the absolute awareness level point of view, all times and all creations coexist and are experienced simultaneously at once. If you know that, if you start to tap into this, you can start to consciously make use of this by realizing that there's nothing out of reach for you, that everything is contained inside of consciousness, inside of the now, inside of awareness. There's not a single moment that has never happened before. It is all existent right here. There is therefore no lack possible because it all exists already at once. So I would like you to do a little meditation, but not necessarily sitting down, although you could do that too if you want to. So the homework for this lesson is as follows. As you go about your everyday experiences, walking through the streets of New York or wherever you're at, taking a bus or driving your car or interacting with people as you meet them. I want you to keep in mind this mantra as often as you can for the next two days. Every potential possible reality already exists. And in short, that you can formulate that in whatever way and in different ways if you want to. You can repeat this in different ways in your own mind so that you tune your frequency, your vibration to that realization so that you can start to download the experience of it more and more and master consciously the qualities that come with that or the potential, the possibility that comes with opening up to that reality, that realization that all exists at once. But we can summarize it as the sentence, everything exists at once or everything already exists right here, right now. Keep saying something along those lines. Feel free to tailor it as works best for your mind 
to tap into the experience of it. But keep repeating similar sentences like that, similar realizations like that, like a mantra. As you go about your everyday life, interacting with people, seeing different kinds of experiences, realizing that you're choosing one slice at a time, but maintaining that greater awareness more and more, returning to that greater expansive awareness of remembering and realizing that everything, structurally speaking, in existence, exists all at once. And you simply chose to have this experience now, and then chose to have this experience now. You might as well have chosen to walk among the dinosaurs in this next second, because that also always already exists all at once, as does every single reality. So keep repeating to yourself, all exists at once. Every experience already exists. Everything exists right here, right now. This takes your attention away from seeking something outside of consciousness and allows you to drop into the realization that your beingness contains every possible reality already, and that everything you could ever potentially truly desire is within reach inside of yourself. Experiment with this and have fun with this and replay this video once or twice more and watch the other video that I'll also post inside of this lesson. And uh, share your experience with this mantra, using this mantra in everyday life experiences, meeting everything that you normally meet on an everyday basis, but now realizing that no day is the same and that it's all a single slice chosen out of the all that is that already exists all at once. Share your experience of this with us in the study group. That would be awesome. Have a great day and enjoy. Thank you.